Good morning guys. As you can see, I'm here in my car and there's a reason for that. I thought I would show you what I do in the morning when I go to work as far as makeup because, let's face it, I have a hard time getting out of bed in the morning. So the majority of my makeup is done at home. Like I do my base and everything at home, um, anything like that. And I pretty much just do like my eyebrows and my eyes once I get here to work. I'm in the parking lot of my job and I just quickly throw on my makeup because I actually I've told you guys this before but just when I share a vehicle so I take him to work in the morning and then I come to work but the times that we go to work kind of make it where I have to be here a little bit early which is cool I don't mind so I usually just sit in the car for like half hour 45 minutes before going to work which gives me some time to throw on some makeup and catch up on some YouTube videos and stuff like that so I bring my little makeup bag and basically inside here I keep just some essentials like I have my brow stuff well some brow stuff this is my on-the-go brow kit and then I have the naked basics palette which I just started packing that because like I don't always wear eyeshadow every day but it's kind of nice if I decide to and I have that in there and then I also packed oh I hope that I left it in here oh I did okay a blending brush and this I kind of just use for everything and then I have like a couple of lip products and my Rimmel eyeliner like marker thing and that pretty much is all that I need and a little baby Anastasia Anastasia gel eyebrow gel thing so the first thing I do is my eyebrows and I have this like Sephora mirror that my sister got me for Christmas last year it came with like a gift card so that's what I use because it's really big it has um, a mag magnified side and then the regular side I use the magnified side because I'm blind and then I just use the brow wiz in the shade brunette and I like this because it has the spoolie so I don't really have to pack like separate tool I really need to do my brows but I somehow lost my tweezers so I'm gonna have to buy some new ones because the ones that I have I don't really like um, and then I just basically fill in the bottom to get like a solid edge and this is exactly how I've been doing my brows for a really long time and I have a brow tutorial on it I believe if not I'll, I'll try and link that in the description box if I can't find it or if I don't have one that's updated I'll just refilm one eventually so really all I use the brow is for is just to shape the bottom and I like this because the hairs are really sparse on the bottom and it kind of gives me the shape I need and also gives you a really clean line without having to use concealer or anything can you guys hear the planes not far from the airport what's been new with you guys anything I've had like a this has been a strange week I've had like really good moments and then I got some really bad news yesterday and it just it's, it's weird when you have weeks that go from like high highs to like feeling really crappy it just and it's nothing really to do with me but it, it does affect me obviously otherwise I wouldn't be feeling crappy about it but it's neither here nor there but yeah it's just been like kind of a weird week Christmas is this week are you guys ready I am pretty much ready but I don't know it just feels like it's come on so quickly this year oh and then I go in with the um, Anastasia brow powder and this is dark brown and I use like my little holders and stuff to like hold um, things like my caps for my brow wiz and just like I kind of utilize what I have around me and then I just pack my real techniques um, angled brush and this is what I use to fill in the rest of my brows I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a long time and that sucks because I've, I've missed like interacting with you guys but uh, I don't know it's, like I said it's been a weird week my birthday passed last Tuesday today's Monday my birthday was last Tuesday and I had a, a great birthday like the seriously the best birthday I've had in a long time 
and I really didn't even do anything like crazy I just hung out with the family and that sort of thing but it was good and yeah I got all my Christmas shopping done like a long time ago well not a long time ago but back on Black Friday I got the majority of it done I hope I'm not running out of like memory because I don't even know how much space I have left on that card could just be talking to a not recording camera that would be bad and by all means this is not perfect in the car it's not this is just kind of like everyday work type makeup because I don't care about being perfect on like a daily basis just at work my nine to five job is not uh, makeup based if it was I would take more time on my makeup and make sure it's nicer but it's not so is it bad that I say I kind of don't care kind of don't care but I don't know it's too much work to try and be perfect every day. And I think like, especially for me in high school, I would seriously put on makeup every day. I would do my hair like fully every day. That's just, it's too much work. I try and make myself look presentable every day, but I'm not gonna like break my back to be glamorous every day. Cause that's not real life real life is sometimes you look less than perfect and I'm okay with that today I really don't feel like wearing eyeshadow but I think I'm just gonna put it on just for the purpose of this video I'm really not feeling the brows today but uh, oh well Then I just take my little brow gel and go over that. The brows are done. Like I said, not perfect, but doable. See, like this brow is really going to bother me today. But I'm just going to leave it because I don't feel like getting all that technical. There are sirens. I do need this though. Should I get some of that product out? It's too heavy. Um, and then next, I'm just going to take my little Naked Basics palette. And this is the first one. I don't have the second one. And honestly, I heard the second one's great, but I don't want to get that. I just, I don't use this one enough to want to get the second one I have so many neutrals already that I, I don't think I'll miss it um, but oh crap so I'm just going to take I think I'll take a little bit of WOS and put that pretty much all over the lid and I use the same brush for everything and when I do these car looks It's not gonna be fancy and then I'm gonna go in with naked 2 which is kind of like a light very light camel brown like khaki color I just put that in the crease this is a super fast eye look wipe off my brush a little bit and then kind of just blend it out a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with faint which is like the second to last color it's a darker brown I'm just gonna put that in the outer corner just to darken up this a little bit sorry if my voice still sounds like shit I am getting over being sick and it sounded really bad for a long time now but hopefully it'll 
I feel a lot better, but I still sound pretty crappy. <sighs> so I hope everyone has a really good like holiday season. I hope it's been good so far. I hope you have a really good Christmas, but it's just coming so fast. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of excited for Christmas, but at the same time, I know I think when you become an adult, it's it's not the same. Like you want to get as excited as you did when you were a kid, but it's not the same. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of faint and go under the lash line <clears throat> with the same brush. Just like kind of on the outer third. And you'll see a lot of people walking by in the background. Like a lot of times I'll just like people watch all morning while I'm sitting in here. Um, do I want to put anything else? Usually I'll do like an inner corner highlight. Yeah, I guess I will. I'll take Venus, which is the lightest one, and put that in the inner corner. And I just use my finger for that. Just kind of tap it in. And this is a lot going on. Like I don't, like I said, I don't do this every day, but days where I want to wear eyeshadow and I don't have time or I've just brought like this little makeup bag with me that I'll, I'll do this look and then my Rimmel eye pen I should do a regular a regular winged liner and this sometimes goes very badly because if it goes all crazy and you have to like make a thicker line then it's just like a losing battle I keep making it thicker to try and even it out like I've done today this is crappy it also doesn't help that my pen's kind of like drying out this is a disaster Oh well, what are you gonna do? And then somewhere in here I have mascara. I usually pack like a little, um, what do you call it? A little better than sex mascara, the Too Faced one but it's like completely dried out. So back to my dropping things. Back to my L'Oreal um, Manga, Voluminous Manga Lash. I really like this stuff. I mean, it's not as good as the Too Faced one, but it's pretty good for like a drugstore mascara. It works. I just put it on my top and bottom lashes. I got this really cool like light mask thing it's called the Illumi mask um, and it's for like fine lines and wrinkles I know I don't have a lot right now but um, preventative right um, but my I actually got it for my birthday because I asked for that for that was like the only thing that I wanted for my birthday my mom got it for me I've tried it a couple times and it feels pretty cool like I honestly I feel like it's it uses like infrared light I feel like it's kind of helped my acne too I know it's not you know marketed for that but I feel like it has helped but it does say it's supposed to give you like clearer skin and stuff I'm gonna do a video on it I think after I've used it a few more times you're supposed to use it for 30 days before you see like any results so we'll see and then um, they have one for acne too I was actually kind of interested in trying that one out but I think one mask is enough And then to finish everything off, I, I do one of two things. I will either use like a lip pencil, which I think I might do that today, or have like a couple lip options in here, or like a lipstick. This one I really like. I usually throw this on just because it's like a, you don't have to be super exact with it. And it's like just like a kind of nice 
bright, bright pink. But it comes off pretty natural. But I'm going to use this Cabaret NYX pencil. The color's Cabaret. So we'll use that today. Just because I've been doing like that pink lip for like the past week. So we'll go darker today. And that is pretty much it, guys. <clears throat> See, my voice is still really, like, ugh. And, like, this lip pencil, I mean, well, any lip pencil, it looks, it has, like, a matte finish, and I like it, but it feels a little dry, so I'm just going to put some lip balm on top of it. But that, um, that's what I do in the morning. Every morning, usually. It's rare that I get out of the house having actually, like, days that I have to work, having actually put all my makeup on in the house. It doesn't happen very often. Once I put the lip balm on, it makes it look kind of like a stain and less like a matte finish. That's alright. Works. Alright guys, I guess I'm going to get out of here because I have to go to work in a few minutes. So I will talk to you guys soon and thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye guys.